Hi everyone, I'm Old Niles Thrompton, and I'd like to welcome you to yet another episode of Old Niles Thrompton's Guitar Odyssey. You know, in this late pandemic stage where a lot of us are confined to our houses, boats, holes, boxes, or wherever we happen to be living these days, we all tend to be doing a lot of online shopping. And in fact, just the other day I was looking online in a couple of sales forums and I happened to notice yet another bargain guitar. This one for $120 US. Now, I couldn't resist this bargain, as I never can, so I pulled the trigger. That was Sunday, this is Friday, it just arrived. Now, I know what you're saying. Old Niles Thrompton, why are you leaving us in suspense with this crazy bargain guitar? Well, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. This is a an electric guitar from Donner. It arrived on time and on the money. Cardboard box looks like it's in good shape. The delivery man left it on my front porch. I did not see him come or go. I assume he likely fell down a manhole, um, was uh, sucked up and crushed by a street sweeper, or was abducted by a variety of local alien. According to the reviews, this is supposedly a phenomenal guitar, but again, much like the Monoprice Indio guitar we reviewed a little while ago, we're not going to know that until we crack it open and take a look. So, to get right down to it, I'll see you at the table. Alright, so I got my knife in hand, and I'm ready to crack open this wonderful, amazing, bargain price, yet still stupendous, to my knowledge so far, uh, Donner guitar. I'm really excited about this and I hope you are too. You know ladies, uh, one thing I gotta say is you really want to please your geek husband, all you gotta do is throw some random thing in a box and give it to him. Unboxing is one of the most important things in a man's life. Alright, let's check this guitar out. Got my knife in hand here. Yeah. Check this out. All right. So uh, once again, the first thing you'll notice here is a nice uh, padded gig bag. Uh, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Um, comes with a uh, strap. Not a bad looking strap actually. Has a um, not a plastic uh, holster on it either. It looks to be metal. Uh, looks to be uh, sturdy. You could um, use this as a neck strap, uh, a chest strap, a jock strap, whatever you want to do with that. Not a bad strap. Thank you, Don. Comes with a uh, cable. Again, not too bad of a cable there. This is a, uh, compared to some of the cables I've seen in, uh, in other uh, guitar package type things, this looks to be a halfway decent cable. It uh, says high quality pro audio cable from Donner. It's 10 feet long. It's all right with me. So, um, again, nice looking uh, padded uh, case here. Uh, squeezable uh, in many ways. Take that to mean what you want. Um, I'm going to open it up and let us see what is inside. And. So I'm going to yank this off here. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves here a uh, very nice uh, looking T-style guitar. Um, Telecaster thin line copy it looks like. Two humbuckers, three-way switch, nice white pick guard, semi-hollow body, decent looking F-hole. Um, Upon first glance, it's to be a very nice guitar. So to check out all the ins and outs, the ups and downs of this guitar, I'll see you at the uh, chair. First impressions are always important when considering a guitar. And in this case, my first impressions are of a guitar that's surprisingly well built for its price point. That sunburst body, the nice gloss maple neck, all this is really pleasing to the eye. Even the modified fender shaped headstock, which I kind of like. 
decent hardtail bridge on this with standard chrome saddles. Uh, about a 14k humbucker in the bridge. And then if we go up here, you've got about an 8 or 9k humbucker in the neck. In terms of open heart surgery, if we crack this open, there are no real surprises on this guitar. You've got your standard dime size pots. You've got your standard three-way switch with rainbow wiring, leading to some waxy-looking humbuckers here, which somebody on Amazon.com claimed were Korean-made. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, although you can decide for yourself. And the routing on this guitar is actually pretty good. I was impressed when I took a look at the uh, overall cut. The multiply body here which is essentially just uh, several layers pancaked on top of a uh, plywood uh, base are actually pretty well put together and cut as well. This guitar is a pretty thick finished glossy neck. Now I really like glossy poly necks. I grew up playing them. If you like satin necks you could sand this down a little bit for comfortability otherwise if you like glossy necks you'll feel right at home. The fretwork on this guitar straight out of the box is great. You know it bears saying that too many guitars, even professional high-end guitars, are sent with really sharp frets. But no such thing in this case. Very comfortable and playable right out of the box. Now for a guitar at this price point, not unexpected to find a few flaws on the body and neck. In this case on the back of the headstock I saw a few marks under the finish. In this case we'll just call them unique characteristics. Then you've got this tasty looking maple syrup <laughs> yeah anyways uh, as I mentioned before decent headstock overall one of the things I like here is they've taken the time to paint the truss rod hole little tiny value add for me even if it's not such a big deal enough waiting let's check out some sounds Well, ladies and gentlemen, to sum things up, I've been playing this guitar for a few days, and I've got to say, this is a great value guitar. You know, it's not just the fit, the finish, that nice glossy maple neck, the good sounding pickups that make this guitar. It's those little things, like the aftercare they've done to file down the side of the neck, take down those sharp fret ends, so it's a great sounding and playing guitar right out of the box. Would I recommend this guitar to a beginner? Absolutely. For beginners, I would recommend if you can get your hands on this guitar, especially for a sale price, take it to a luthier, get it set up, and you've got yourself a nice playing guitar. And sounding guitar too. For intermediate and advanced players, I'd still recommend this. Now I was skeptical about this guitar when I first purchased it. How good can a guitar be at $120 US after all? But after playing this, I am a believer. Now, full disclosure, I did take this guitar to my setup guy just to bring the action down 
polish the frets a little more and make sure it was a great playing guitar. And he commented that he thought this was one of the best guitars he's ever seen at this particular price point. So take that as high praise. A great playing guitar, a great sounding guitar, excellent value for the money, and a great pickup. Well, thanks again, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me. I hope this was entertaining and you learned a thing or two about this great value of little guitar. Once again, thanks for watching, keep on playing, and check out the channel for a whole lot more.